Hello, welcome back to The Road to Episode 9, my ongoing series where I chart the road to the release of Star Wars Episode 9 in December 2017, and as always, the road to the next Star Wars episode is, you know, paved with other Star Wars movies. That's what we've kind of been trained to expect. Now we had Rogue One between Episode 7 and 8. Between Episode 8 and 9 we have Solo, A Star Wars Story, which is coming out tomorrow. It is currently the 23rd of May, 2018, and tomorrow is when it comes out in the UK. There is a midnight screening tonight, but uh, I'm working a late shift, so don't really have the time to get to it. And this video is, is really kind of a, a very brief catch-up. This will be a very short video, hopefully. I, I have very little time to do this, but I wanted to kind of just quickly chime in with my pre-thoughts for the film. I don't know how I'm going to deal with talking about it in video form yet. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'll probably have something up over the next couple of days on my thoughts on the film, of course. But I don't have any real excitement for it. A friend asked me yesterday, are you excited for Solo? And I said, no. I'm eager. I'm intrigued. I'm looking forward to it. But I'm not excited about it. There's something that just holds me back. I mean, there's the fact that it has, you know, uh, Star Wars in the title. Uh, that means I'm always going to be interested in seeing it, but uh, it, it's, it's also the, the time period in which it's coming out. You know, this is probably the busiest I've been in my entire life. So if The Last Jedi was coming out now in May, I'd be gutted because I'd, I'd have no time to really kind of uh, s let the excitement kind of. Uh, I've just seen the, the biggest spider I've ever seen on my wall. Okay, I'll deal with that later. <laughs> I'll leave that one in for free. I won't leave that one in for free, I'll be taking that one out, right? Uh, yeah, the I, I would have been gutted, I wouldn't have time to appreciate the, the build-up, the anticipation of that film coming out. You know, I, I had a lot of time to really kind of get excited about it, but uh, anyway, that's a whole other thing. Solo, I'm looking forward to it. The main thing I'm interested in is uh, seeing Chewbacca. I love Chewbacca, one of my favorite characters, so seeing him in the film, and I think that uh, uh, Junas Sotamo, who plays the, uh, you know, the the new, well not the new version of Chewbacca, but he's the new actor to play Chewbacca and kind of worked with Peter Mayhew on episode 7. I think he did a good job kind of becoming the character in episode 8. So I love the fact that he is kind of continuing and doing it in this film too. I'm intrigued to see how Alden Ehrenreich is as Han Solo. As I've said before, and again, it's, I kind of repeat myself in, in you know the, the past few years, ever since the film was announced. It's never a film I wanted to see. It's never like, oh, I wish we could have had Han Solo's younger days. Um, but I, he isn't my favorite character. I love Han Solo, but he isn't my favorite character, so I'm not too precious over it. If it was a young Luke movie, I'd be a bit more skeptical, though I don't think there's much story to tell there with Luke on the you know, in kind of a, a, a desert farmland in, in his youth where he doesn't really do much, but it makes sense. You know, Han obviously had a history before we saw him in the first Star Wars film, obviously had been through you know, some capers and adventures, so it makes sense. Uh, a lot of people are saying that Donald Glover is, is great as Lando, so I'm looking forward to that as well. And seeing some new characters, some new locations, you know, it's a Star Wars film, it should be fun. I love Ron Howard as a director, and from what it seems, uh, he really has kind of shot the film almost from the ground up again and really kind of took over and made it his film which I'm glad to hear that that is the case and that he really did do a lot more than I expected it to be I felt like he would come in and kind of finish the film but it seems like he came in and kind of restarted the film in a way not completely but you know kind of put more of his stamp on it and things like that anyway so I'm gonna see it tomorrow and I'll come back with a review uh, with thoughts I don't know if I need to go Spoiler free, spoiler free. I don't know. I don't know if there's really any spoilers in there. Oh, Chew Chewbacca dies. You know, spoilers. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to. It. I, I am, but I'm, I'm definitely skeptical to be excited about it. I'm not even skeptical. I'm just not excited about it. That's that's the bottom line, really. Which is fine. I, I think that we need need to kind of get used to the fact that these films aren't always going to be the huge events that something like Episode Seven or Episode Eight was. For better or worse, they were huge events. Rogue One was great, but it wasn't as as big of an event. It wasn't something I was as excited about. But I'd say that I'm not even as excited for Solo as I am Rogue One, even though this is featuring characters that I've seen before and, and have loved in previous films. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm intrigued and eager, is all I can say. So I'm looking forward to seeing what it has to offer. And, and that's about it. So thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts down below what you're thinking about the film before you go and see it. Uh, if you're going to a midnight screening, things like that. And of course... If you've seen the film, leave your thoughts on it down below. Otherwise, wait till my review and we can talk about it then. So, I'll see you in the next one.